The Cardinals' rally to beat the Seahawks here in Seattle on Sunday night was absolutely huge, and players know it in that Arizona locker room. Not just because of the emotional impact that comes with knocking off the two-time defending NFC champions in their building, but because it puts the Cardinals up three games in the NFC West division with seven to go. That's a pretty big gap. Not ready to write off the Seahawks as a playoff team yet, but they're two games back even in the wild card chase. Have to get it going soon. They host the 49ers next, while the Cardinals host the Bengals. As long as Peyton Manning is healthy, Broncos coach Gary Kubiak says he's still the starting quarterback, regardless of Sunday's benching and the loss to Kansas City. But Manning is not healthy right now, and that seems to set up a pretty easy decision. Brock Osweiler should start next week's game at Chicago. It boils down to taking care of the football. Manning has 17 interceptions so far through just nine games. That puts him on pace for 30 for a year. It'll be the most since 1988 when Vinny Testaverde threw 35. It's just not a method to sustainable success. The offense doesn't need to be great, but it can't look like this. Another win for the Patriots to get them to 9-0, but another significant loss on the offensive side of the football. Last week it was Deion Lewis, the running back, who caused all sorts of problems in space. This week, Julian Edelman suffering a foot injury that's going to cost him some time. Those are two really important players for Brady as he controls the middle of the field, and somebody's going to have to step into those roles. It can't be all Gronk all the time. They host the Bills next. And that Buffalo defense looks like the past couple of weeks, it's rounding the right direction. Vikings Packers next week, a showdown for the NFC North lead and a match with two teams that couldn't be going in more opposite directions. The Packers lose their third straight at home, while the Vikings win their fifth straight on the road at Oakland. This is the biggest game in Minneapolis since the 2012 finale where the Vikings beat the Packers to get into the playoffs. At some point, I think that Aaron Rodgers and that Packers offense gets going, but this is not an easy matchup to do it. Let's not forget the quarterback craziness. Big Ben Roethlisberger coming in in relief of an injured Landry Jones and playing most of the game in the Steelers win over the Browns. He now gets some extra time through the bye week to rest up and come back. Meanwhile, the Cowboys lost at Tampa Bay, their seventh in a row without Tony Romo, who's finally eligible to return next week at Miami. Let's see if Romo can give them a similar boost.